this is a post that I started working on last week. And the question that I asked was, can AI help you host better meetings? So this is a chief complaint among many of us, right? We go to meetings and sometimes we feel like we probably just wasted our time, wasted an hour. And then as a meeting host, you want to, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I want to make sure that this meeting is productive and making sure that I meet all the goals. How do I do that? Jamie Dimon said to his top executives about meetings, if one is required, make it count. Doodle publishes a state of the meeting report. And in 2019, it said that there was a loss of $399 billion due to unnecessary and poorly organized meetings. The question is whether or not AI can help us with this. It can help us transcribe meetings. It can help us summarize meetings. But can it also help us become better at running meetings? This is the question that I posed to myself. And then I thought, well, let's see. Let's build an agent and see if it can actually help us. And this is what I came up with. Say hi to should have been an email. This AI agent uses your transcript and your meeting agenda to analyze your facilitation skills based on four categories, clarity, time management, engagement, and outcomes. For each of those areas, it gives you a score and a summary. And if you are below a certain threshold, it will provide tips on how you can improve. So I'm going to walk through an example for you. I've already given my AI agent a transcript and an agenda, and I'm going to show you the results that I got. So hi, my name is Monique Howard. I build playbooks that help organizations integrate AI with intention. This means that we're not only looking at the company side of things, of how we can increase productivity or how we can reduce or shift headcount. We're looking also at the workforce and how that we can cultivate trust through upskilling and reskilling those individuals that we currently have to make the company stronger for the future. With that being said, should have been an email aligns with that in that goal. It is not looking at how we can reduce the number of meetings, it's looking at how can I improve the skill of the meeting leader. Let's walk through my example and the outcome. So at the very beginning, it gives you an overall score. So this is my overall score of 67, and it says I'm guilty of a calendar crime. And it, it also gives a high level summary of why I actually got this score. And just to kind of summarize what it's saying, basically there was collaboration among the team. Everybody was giving their two cents. But in the end, things kind of got off track, different tangents, and maybe not every agenda item was actually addressed. With that, it then goes into the individual categories that it used to actually rate my facilitation skills. The four categories, and I'll go through each, Clarity and structure. This one is around the agenda and whether or not the agenda was clear and whether or not it was actually addressed during the meeting. Was it actually used to structure the meeting and to keep it on track? So this one, I got a score of a 68. Next, it went through time management and focus. And this is basically, did we stay within time and did we stay on track in terms of the agenda items? or were there a number of um, divergent conversations that happened or runaway conversations that basically took over the meeting. Next is collaboration and inclusion. This one is around whether or not everyone had a chance to give their input. Were all voices heard and were all voices included? And then lastly, decision-making and outcomes. This is based around the agenda once again, the agenda sets, sets the intent of the meeting. The goal of, of the leader is basically to use the agenda to drive certain decisions and outcomes. And so this category is just about that and determining whether or not there was action items or decision made that actually uh, supported the agenda. So now once it's gone through all four categories and given me a score, 
based on my threshold, it will give me tips on how I can improve. And last, it gives me some tips on how I can improve my facilitation skills. So based on the overall score that you get and the scores in the individual categories, it will suggest ways that you can improve your facilitation skills. And for me, it has given me five. These tips aren't things that the LL, I allow the LLM to just make up on its own. It actually is being asked to reference articles that were written by companies such as Alassian, Mural, and Lucid. So it is drawing from um, other sources in order to give you those tips. And those tips are usually grounded in some level of not only research, search, but practice. And that should have been an email, my AI agent that helps you improve your facilitation skills. So why don't you try it? You know, pull a transcript and an agenda, pop it into the AI agent and see what you get. You might be pleasantly surprised. And I would love to know what the outcomes were. I would love to know what your experience was. So come back to the post and put a comment below and share with the group on just what my agent actually told you.